So it turns out the human race is doomed. <laughs> Yay. Bud Charles asked, what about the Great Filter? Bud was commenting on a recent video I did about the Fermi Paradox, which asks the basic question, if there are so many stars in the universe, why aren't there thousands of civilizations buzzing around out there? By the way, I heard a really cool story about how this whole thing came up, but apparently uh, Enrico Fermi and all of his very famous science friends were hanging out at a lab one day in the break room, and the subject of little green men came up. They were joking, mostly, about all the UFO stories that were in the news and in the movies all over the place. It was kind of a whole thing back then. When Enrico Fermi apparently was sitting off by himself minding his own business, and he just turned around and asked, Where is everybody? And this went on to prompt a very in-depth discussion about with all the opportunities for life out there in the universe, how come we haven't been contacted by any alien species? It's a debate that goes on to this very day. And I love stories like that, when just a small, insignificant observation leads to one of the biggest questions of all time. You know, it just really speaks to the power of the human subconscious mind. Anyway, where was I? Um, oh, the end of civilization. The Greek filter is just a way of explaining the Fermi paradox, or maybe a better way of saying it is that it provides a framework for understanding the paradox, which only ends in two really depressing scenarios. Either we're completely alone, or we're screwed. In the first case, life itself is a great filter, and it turns out that the process of random molecules bumping against each other over billions of years until it creates something that self-replicates and works flawlessly as a machine is actually really, really hard. We'd have to rethink the way life began here on Earth, and we'd have to consider the fact that Earth is just a very special place, and that we are the only life that's ever been able to come out in the entire universe. That's pretty lonely. But then there's the other scenario in which life is actually a very common thing in the universe, but before it reaches a certain level of intelligence, something goes wrong. Maybe it's the overuse of resources on their planet, or something like climate change, or a technology that gets too advanced and then spins out of control, like the artificial intelligence stuff that a lot of people are worried about these days. But whatever it is, it's horrible, it's devastating, and it has literally destroyed every single intelligent life that's ever sprung up in the universe. And we're barreling right for it. For all of our dreaming about how young we are as a species and how far we have to go, the Great Filter idea says that maybe we're closer to the end than we are to the beginning. But there is a third option, that maybe with enough planning and enough foresight and enough action, we could be able to get through that second filter, and we might be the very first galaxy-spanning civilization in the universe. So let's get our shit together. Hey everybody, thanks as always for watching. If this is your first time uh, checking me out, I'd love it if you hit subscribe. I come back every Monday with cool, fun, thought-provoking videos that make you more interesting around your friends. If you have a question, you can ask it down in the comments below or in any of my social media places, and I'm going to make you smarter. Until next time, you guys have a great week. Love you guys. See you later.